your heart will explode. Good morning. Welcome to episode two of Gone Home. Last episode, we conveniently found the combination. So let's go and have a look. 0451. That's not spent. <gasps> oh dear. Right, that's t wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. Turn the lamp off. Mother will kill me. Set. Can I type it in? I cannot. Oh. Four, five, one. Yeah. Dear Mr. Mason, few flies in enclosing your original document, and I typed copy for your record. The notarized copy has been fired for our auditors. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Okay. Oh, it's a will. Who's Oscar Manson? Who's Oscar Manson? Oh, I don't know. I, Oscar Manson, possessing full competence of mind and memory and full survey of value items in my name, and I've also got a do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. 1. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. Oh dear. 2. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors living or dead. 3. Th that's what I never understand. It's like, any creditors, if they're dead, who cares? <laughs> 3. I do hereby bequeath every item of value to which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Harbour Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money accounted to my nephew, Terence L. Greenbrier, Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terence <coughs> Jr. should precede me, then and or in such event the bequests shall fall to him as blah blah blah, blah same uh, children, blah blah blah. I subscribe my note to this will this 13th day of August 1973. Signed Oscar Mason. Aha, so Oscar Mason is Terence's net. Uh, Mm hmm Terence's uncle, I see. And then this awful writing. Mm hmm Right. So we moved here because we got it for free. Well, that's certainly a good way of um John Russell opened his eyes and saw them the stars twinkling as if they were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even though that place was a million miles away, no, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk. Despite not having a touch of drop in hours, he vomited onto his feet. Ugh. His bare feet. He stared for a moment. Blah, 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 processed his sick flecked toenails. Ugh. Scanning up for his bare skin, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous young blonde wearing a tight polymer fibre tunic. Then, fra <clears throat> then fabric was stained at the seams to contain her gorgeous bosom was embellished with the phrase matter transference operator. Then he passed out. <clears throat> okay. John Russell had crossed the gap. The gap in time. Only messengers had passed before. But now, but now a man. They needed him now more than a, ever. Change to pass was no... Ugh. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions form from the council had been clear. What to procure? What to construct from it? How to assemble it? So he made the machine. How to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood there on the bridge of the Stargate Star Starship Archimedes, command of the vessel, because only he, who had saved the President's life twice before, could helm the naive crew to their destiny, the fate of the galaxy. He, I assume, is a writer. And not exactly the best of um, spellers. But then again, I'm not the best of readers, as you can probably tell. Hi, Chair. How are you doing? Alright, so nothing else. So, hmm. We've not heard of Mother yet, have we? Hmm. Also, <laughs> this, is, this is kind of an elephant in the room here I want to address. Like,. Oh, no, never mind, the elephant in the room is, is gone. Because I was going to say, because wouldn't you start calling people? But no, you wouldn't, because this is 1995. No mobile phones. Hmm. Pamphlet. Agriculture, US farm manager. Why does he have a pamphlet for that? <laughs> Tortilla chips? Oh, yeah. I'll have that, thanks. 
another library? Okay. Not particularly good up here. Oh, lots and lots of records. Okay. Everything around the corner here. Yes. Now this isn't a... This is a... Grab Dad's second book. The accident of... Oh! A message from the future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours there will be another attempt and the lines of communications are down. So he is not just an author. He, uh, not just a reviewer, he's actually a proper author. 1976, so this is a few years ago. I wrote to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will not be able to publish your follow-up to at The Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales... Follow-up to... Despite the low sales of Accidental Saviour, we went ahead with the publication of the set of book, but in hopes that the genre of the series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so the stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working with your publisher, and we wish you well. And General saw the best of his future was... Oh, well, that sucks. Hmm. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I can't do with that. Samantha Greenberg says, get up a reduction for her to okay. The menstrual cycle, ugh, lovely. Life of the sperm cell. I'm not reading this. Any man who said it is. Wait, are you literally doing it from a. <clears throat> nice. Uh. See me, apparently. Yeah, I'm not reading all of that, but yeah, that's definitely not. That's definitely not the fallopian tubes. Hello? Anything in here? Nope. Nope. Yep. Hi, Looney. Looney? Lonnie? So if you want to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So look. Hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to uh, meet in the park with them. Yeah, I'm totally in. I see you there. And I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Katie, please, whatever you have found, don't tell mom and dad the attic. Hmm. Okay. I thought we could go, probably go with the attic. Wait a minute. Oh, I was going to say. Like, I didn't leave that door open. No, you didn't, because there's no door there. Uh, we're in this one. We've been in that one. Oh, we got uh, Dad's office library to the basement. TV room. So our best bet when really is upstairs, isn't it? Oh, this is weird. It's an actual... That is very, very weird. It's like it's not just a massive hallway into another hallway. That's yeah, that's not something. Uh, control burns kind of a Boone County. Boone County. The plumes of smoke will rise above the northeast region of Boone County over the ne better part of next week as part of the forestry service run control burn of overgrown sections. Yes, they do tend to do that, don't they? Oh, so mother is a senior conservationist. I see. Okay. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that they do all the time because it's. It, it's training, and it's also best to have a control burn rather than a burn that's just going out of control. Temporal burns now transfer Bruce Pers of Zer to aid with the commentary prescription to burn control. The ranger with expertise in the proceeding is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National for his effective 994. 
Please uh, turn a file. You ever see uh, flint logs? There's, there's Janice Greenbrier. Charles. Okay, so. Is she being moved? For the. Temporarily? Monday. No idea. Cooking class. Ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing. Couples. Something or other. I don't know. Alright, let's go. I think, oh, is that tape? Bratmobile. Or Sam. Love things, the uh, cherry bomb, throw away for the, some of the fuck you fans. And all that stuff. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right i gave her the grand psycho house tour and took my revenge on super nintendo and it was like i don't know i finally found someone i feel normal around i drove her home and she gave me this tape and said you have got to listen to this i haven't stopped playing it since okay so then you called okay uh, I, to me, make concern. I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compared to Katie, who is, who is only three, three years older than me, and yet you allow her to go all the way across the ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe, bleh, on my own, like a normal human being. And since you all can't remember that, I have to, I have my own car now. You can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. It's totally word a letter. Hmm. Shut it up. Turn the television off. Wait. Why have they taken the... the VHS player out? I'm not really sure. Can I not read it? Okay, apparently not. Uh, grab cassette. Okay. I assume they want me to put this into here. Ugh, that's ugh, one of those scrutinised. This is one of those seeing eye things. How many Nintendo games do you have? Super Spitfire. Journey of the Crystal. Journey of Crystal, sorry, not the Crystal. Rapello. Hi, Lenny, I went this in the first period and left and your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I decided. Right, me back also. Here's an idea for something to draw. Turo cats on motorcycles. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the kids are actually doing is sewing each other's pins on their beepers, but we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. <laughs> the drawing because it's so good that I added it to the background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were all about abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Flish right now. I feel like no would probably blah blah blah. Oh, I can't read that writing. You got your toilet? No, you just have a massive um Nice. A book? Oh. Uh huh. What am I doing at all? A ball game. Go to your number. <laughs> nice. Is this... Oh, we need a combination, do we? Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. I want to believe. Grab, steggy, steli. Anything around? Grab magazine. Oh. Can I not have a look at it? Apparently I cannot. Okay. Oh, hello. 
The Brother 150, this is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done. I assume that was to Looney. Uh, Smith the Green Mule, a flashy fire appears with a metal work in the sea mine. It's not a challenge against Simon, metal plaque for family port, a reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mum and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not just mean add them underneath. Acceptable we'll leveling on edges, show more pride in work. Don't tell me what to do. Sam, I thought the creative writing track would be perfect for you, Mrs. Hmm. Uh, hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. It's either good or we can make fun of him for liking it. Am I supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out of it probably what time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to bath? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers. It is important. Todd wants to these again. Okay, don't bath. Uh, Alright then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right, should we have known the code? 1017. Okay. Ah! It was... It was too good for me. You know, funny really, I remember seeing this. This here. In a... In a book. I don't remember what book it was, but I remember seeing it. I remember it terrifying me. I just seeing a girl, just, uh, ugh, I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, what we got in here then? Toilet! Uh. Let me, oh, it's, okay. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots, think you could help. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited, and the moment was gone. Hmm. Nothing particular, really, is there any? I guess this one's broken. Eh. Okay. Turn the lights off. Turn the light off. Carry me home. Right, map. This is Sam's room. This is... Whatever. This is parents' bedroom, I assume? Mom dad's bedroom, yep. Mom's purse. I was going to say, nothing expected in that, really. Poster? From London? From London? Hi, Mom and Dad, I'm at the channel. This is my second patches through the channel. I am back my way from her. London this time, going to Brussels, Belgium. I didn't ride you on the, on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. London was great, Dad. I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it if you have any... or wanted to come back here as a family, I guess. I guess I could be convinced. Love you all. Another Bible. Okay. Earth, wind, and fire? Anything? Nope. That's a lot of jeans. <laughs> Very nice. Why have all of the... Why have all of the VHS tapes been taken? I don't understand. Uh, was someone trying to quickly... Quickly leave or something? It kind of does seem that way, doesn't it? What will we get her? Dear... I don't know what that... I don't know what that... Is that Sam? Jan? I don't know. 
I think it's Jan, isn't it? Oh, honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bot, Bob and I have had our own periods. It's oh, okay. So, in uh, the meantime, though, controlled burn. That sounds like quite. Oh, yeah. Kids go as they go away. I'm sorry, but this is not being. Is it? Don't worry. Oh, I think Janice was sad that I went away. That Katie went to um, Europe. And then talking about the controlled burn. Into Rick, uh, chin up. Alright, I think we'll continue this next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Your friends will abandon you.